For over half a century, the Center for Migration Studies of New York has been a leading think tank and educational institute devoted to the study of international migration, to the promotion of understanding between immigrants and receiving communities, and to public policies that safeguard the dignity and rights of migrants, refugees, and newcomers. The agency was established in 1964 and formally incorporated in 1969 by the Congregation of the Missionaries of St. Charles Scalabrinians, an international community of Catholic priests, nuns, and lay people dedicated to serving migrants and refugees. CMS is a member of the Scalabrini International Migration Network, a global network of more than 270 entities that promote services to migrants, including shelters along migrant corridors and welcoming centers in receiving communities. We try to understand the issues of migration in depth. We try to understand why people migrate and how they are integrated into their host countries. So we're very serious about doing very rigorous scholarship and research on international migrations. We're also concerned about the well-being of migrants and the communities that they're in and that they're coming from. With the International Migration Review and the Journal for Migration and Human Security, we have at least one article coming out every week it's a major research scholarly paper or a big public policy paper. And beyond that, we have essays, we have blogs, we have books. We also do a lot of events. We have done 40 different events with scholars, with government officials, with non-governmental organizations and others over the last three years. And we have uh, this terrific archive. The archive has 102 processed collections and they range from uh, very large collections that come from agencies that assisted migrants in transit. We have one of the best collections documenting the movement of displaced persons to the United States after World War II and the growing participation of the United States and of NGOs in the migration movement in the later part of the 20th century, now going into the 21st. So we've got some real people, real pictures, real stories that you can put together and tell. 2015 has been an exciting year for the Center for Migration Studies of New York. In this last year, we've continued to advance national and international conversations on migration, refugees, and other people on the move through fascinating book talks with premier scholars, poignant forums of various communities, interactive stakeholder roundtables with policymakers, thought-provoking dialogues, and compelling conferences. And we're also very supportive and try to be very closely supportive of Catholic institutions and other faith-based institutions. So we have a special research project with um, Catholic institutions at all levels on immigrant integration and how they advance immigrant well-being, how they advance immigrant empowerment and integration around the country, and hopefully to strengthen and to expand that work. We have a, a terrific uh, research project on the U.S. unauthorized population where we've done estimates of the unauthorized based on census data. We've analyzed the U.S. refugee protection system, refugee resettlement, political asylum, temporary protection programs in a very exhaustive way. And in furthering our three main research projects on U.S. Catholic institutions and immigrant integration, the U.S. refugee protection system and the democratization of data, CMS introduced new groundbreaking reports, innovative research tools, and valuable resources, including a new online database providing users with estimates and characteristics of U.S. unauthorized residents at the national, state, and sub-state levels, a powerful report on U.S. immigrant detention co-authored with Migration and Refugee Services of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, CMS On Air, the first podcast on migration, refugee, and population issues, CMS Expert Series, a video series featuring interviews with academics, researchers, and experts at the forefront of international migration scholarship and practice, and CMS Essays, which are in-depth online articles addressing migration issues today. In addition, over the past year, CMS has been featured in several news outlets, such as the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, Vice News, Politico, Al Jazeera, PolitiFact, Huffington Post, and USA Today. Just a few weeks ago, I was privileged as board chair to accept uh, the Blessed Frederick Ozanam Award for the Center for Migration Studies. The award is named in honor of Blessed Frederick Ozanam, a journalist, professor, and public speaker dedicated to the faith. And this award, which they give each year to an organization that is outstanding and working for the rights of the poor, 
was given to the Center for Migration Studies. What we'd like to do now is to really focus very intentionally over the next two or three years on expanding the influence of our, of our tools, our research, our events. When I joined CMS three and a half years ago, I was only the second full-time staff hired on to help revitalize the agency. And now through the addition of talented, hardworking staff, uh, we've been able to achieve a lot in just a couple of years. I think it's wonderful the, the mission that this organization has. We are always willing to um, include not only the academic, not only the advocate or the government, but also the immigrants. We thank everyone for their generous support, from funders to policymakers to academics and to civil society, for continuing to support CMS's mission and furthering our goals. And we look forward to ever increasingly successful years to provide important work for migrants and refugees worldwide. The center continues to, to be a, at the cutting edge of the problems, the aspirations, and uh, the needs of today's migrants.